Hi, I'm Dr. Duke Pesta, Academic Director of Freedom Project Education and contributor to the New American Magazine. Well, we've given you some great updates over the last few weeks about Common Core. Uh, the struggles in the states to pull out, Wisconsin's struggle, our own state, to begin to pull out a Common Core or at least talk about it. Uh, many states across the Union have in second thoughts. They see the English and the math standards that are already in our schools and they're just a heap of trouble. The math standards aren't real math. The English standards are involving all sorts of things that aren't really literature. All of this tendential political material. Well, now we have word of a pending danger. We now have have a sense of what the health standards are going to look like, what the science standards are going to look like, and what the history standards are going to look like. And they are as bad or worse than what we already have. Take the national health standards, which advertise teaching our kids health, uh, health and sexuality skills from kindergarten through 12th grade. I don't know about you, but the idea that we're going to send our kids to the public schools to learn sexuality skills is very, very disturbing. And what they do in the health standards is uh, they break it up into three-year cycles. Kindergarten, first grade, second grade, third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade, sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade, so on and so forth, all the way through high school. And for each three-year period, kids have to master certain skills and information to be able to move forward in the curriculum. And as kids as young as five years old, kindergarten kids, five years old, six years old, first graders, these kids are required under the sexuality standards, they're required to identify different kinds of family structures, and they're required to provide arguments as to why all different types of families are equal. The consequences of this are grave. No longer do moms and dads get to educate their kids at home about their views of sexuality, Christian views, religious views, their particular views. The state standards mandate that every kid in kindergarten, first and second grade engage in these exercises. When it comes to the third grade through the fifth grade cycle, for instance, we're talking kids seven, eight, nine years old. They have to make arguments effectively why there is no such thing as gender or biology even. Kids have to, in third and fourth and fifth grade, give explanations for how culture and society and the media shape what a little girl thinks a little girl is and what a little boy thinks a little boy is. The underlying implication is, is that gender itself is a social construct. Right? The, the nature of these sexuality standards are going to mandate that the government's view of sexuality is the only right one, setting up huge conflicts between what goes on in the home and what goes on in the school. The world history standards. We know that Bill Gates is personally financing the world history standards. One scholar is basically writing them, and the world history curriculum, a year-long paradigm, year-long program, is broken up into two sections. The entire first half of world history for your kids is going to be the history before human beings even lived on this earth. It's going to be anthropology, sociology, bio biology, Darwinistic, evolutionary biology, that the entire first half of world history has nothing to do with human beings. And it has very little to do with science or the humanities. It is a pseudoscientific overlay that is designed to make your kids atheists and materialists, to promote a absolutely materialist paradigm when it comes to uh, globalism. It's highly environmentalist. This is what's going to pass for history. You see how that impact is working forward. And then we've got the science standards, which uh, incorporate to the degree that science is mathematically based, and so much of it is, it's common core math. The scientific standards fit in very nicely. It's awfully hard to distinguish the science curriculum from that first half of the world history curriculum. And this is exactly what the founders and the, the proponents of Common Core have in mind. It's an absolutely secularist, materialist education. It's an education that fundamentally denies truth, not just in the humanities and history, but alarmingly, as we've seen, in science and math, right, biology. The idea that even such a concept as gender or biology has any legitimacy, it's all turned propagandistic. It's all done for social engineering aims. And so this new curriculum that we've got coming forth, what we've seen from history to science to the really alarming sexuality standards in terms of the anti-bullying curriculum that's tied into this, any definition of sexuality that's not the government's definition runs the risk of running afoul of anti-bullying common core standards. Right? So somebody's teaching those kids bad information if they disagree with the government, and that means moms and dads in the family, and it opens up a whole host of issues for uh, the government and the schools to intervene in your family life. This is what's coming. Common core is bad now. It's going to get a lot 
lot worse. Stay tuned, stay vigilant. We'll keep you posted on what's coming down the road. Thank you.